Alex Neal, we'll come on, on to the sending off incident in a moment, but can that really excuse some of the defending that, that followed? Um, no, I don't I don't think the the first goal um, has anything to do with the fact that we're down to ten men. You know, it's a straight set piece and we've we've got markers we've got to pick up and it's about winning individual battles. You know, we didn't win the first header and then we don't pick up the run off the second. Um, everybody's got their man and unfortunately we clocked off twice and it can see their goal and when you do go down to ten men once you concede that goal, particularly in the fashion which we did, it makes it makes the rest of the job really difficult. And the, the defending for the second goal wasn't. I mean, it was a different sort of goal, but it, it left a bit to be desired, didn't it? Yeah, it was really poor. You know, because was, we've got two centre backs dealing with one striker, and he basically split right between the two of them um, and run through and finishes. So, uh, yeah, really, really frustrating. You know, I think. Well, in fact, I don't think they'll know they should have done better with, with, with that goal in particular. Um, and it's something that we've been doing a lot of work on this week, so it's equally frustrating. What about that incident in, in the first minute? We've just spoken to John Ruddy. He says he, he feels it should have been a Norwich free kick rather than a rather than a penalty and a, and a sending off. Do you share that point of view? I think it's really difficult to tell. You know, John will have a better view than me. Um, all this is, obviously, we don't deal with the first ball as it comes in, which we should have done. Um, Martin then sort of takes a touch and looks to clear it. We don't get a clean clearance on it. Um, and then for that point, there's a bit of a scramble. Martin ends up on top of the ball. And how the referee can give a penalty, um, because I'll be honest, I've seen it again in the video and I still can't make it out what happened. So I just think at the moment... It, when things are going against you, that they take the things, they take the decisions which are, which are key moments. But when you lose a man, um, just don't seem to be going away at the moment. But I thought, I thought second half, I thought the boys rallied. You know, I thought they worked extremely hard. Their shape was good. We limited them to not much um, in terms of going forward, considering with ten men. And then obviously we get the goal, and, and Jacob hits the bar, and you know I mean we have a wee bits and pieces. But um, I think when you lose ten men, going away from home. It's always going to be tough. I think that, that late rally, as you describe it, probably underlines why supporters are so frustrated because we see a team there that, that can do it, that can cause problems for any side in the championship, but so often you're, you're undermining it with what's going on at the other end. Yeah, defensively, we've, we've not been good enough. You know, I thought we defended well second half, but as I said to the players, it's easy to defend well when it's 2 0. I mean, because it doesn't carry the same weight, it's, it doesn't mean as much um, as what it does when the, the, the whistle starts. So, um, listen, the, the thing is, the only thing we can do now is continue to work really hard. We need to stick together and the boys need to believe that they can go and turn it around because I certainly believe that, staff believes that. Um, and we need to make sure that the next game we go and win the game. What would you say to supporters who <coughs> are thinking, wow, well, you know, this is another defeat, four in a row. Yeah. Is Alex Neil the man to turn this round? Yeah, the, the one thing I'll say is <laughs> the, the, the players that we've got are the players that we've got. They've shown already that they've won seven games out of eight. Um, we're just going through a bit of a slump at the moment and, and bad decisions are going against us um, but we've got to be strong enough to, to come through the other side of that you know, and I think yeah, I'm more than confident that we will I think this week's the club's AGM as well traditionally the, the Norwich manager faces questions for, from the supporters how do you feel about that prospect? Yeah fine, Listen, I'm, I'm an open and honest person I mean, I'm doing my very best with the team everybody's working extremely hard to try and turn the, the results around um, so yeah, I'll answer the questions that come my way just a, a question on the team selection today. I mean, what happened in the first minute means that we'll, we'll never know whether that would have worked or not. But some big calls today. Players like Wes Houlihan, Tim Closer, Cameron Jerome, players who've been big for you, left out of the starting lineup. Yeah, well, we've lost three games in a row. Um, I, I picked at that stage what I deemed was my best team. My best team wasn't playing well. Um, and I've got other guys who, who have shown up really well in some of the games that they've played. So I think it's only fair and right that they get an opportunity in the team. Um, and obviously Nelson's running about up there himself after we got a man sent off. And I, to be a fair, I thought he did a good job. You know, I thought he worked extremely hard, held and linked the game for us when we needed him to. Um, and I thought Stephen Nesmith obviously gets his goal.